What's going on YouTube? Ground Chuck here in the Ground Chuck Man Cave. I'm uh, going to do a second video uh, of a couple pickups that I've uh, just recently got. And um, first one is, obviously if you guys know me, I am a big Seahawk fan. I'll try to put it back there. I can, it's not going to do it justice. Gosh, this camera. So this is a cereal box called Baldwin Smacks. So Doug Baldwin, the wide receiver for the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, they remember Flutie Flakes back in the day, but uh, yeah, so Doug Baldwin, my buddy of mine, knows I collect this kind of stuff, but he uh, gave me a box of Baldwin Smacks. I have not eaten them yet. They look like uh, Sugar Smacks, but uh, so I did empty them out of the box, and I'm just gonna keep the box, obviously, and put it up in my man cave somewhere, but uh, Doug Baldwin, Baldwin Smacks. So that is a, a recent pickup I got this week. And uh, just did a trade for this awesome bobblehead. It actually talks. I'm not going to push the button because it probably wouldn't sound very good. And I, uh, I want to kind of save it because it doesn't look like you can really replace the battery. But I'm going to put the Bob Rondo. is uh, was the voice of the uh, UW... University of Washington Huskies for many many years on the radio and and stuff so uh, he is retiring and moving on but so I have a Bob Rondo bobblehead so I got that acquired it in a trade from a young man who's seven years old and a good friend hit, hit the dad and his son the seven-year-old went to the Husky game you know, when they were handing those out and uh, he said hey I got you a bobblehead because he knows I collect stuff well this summer I was able to uh, acquire quite a bit of Pokemon cards in a big box of stuff that I got at a garage sale. So I have nothing to do with those at all. But I knew I was going to be able to pay it forward somehow, some way. So we did a trade for Pokemon ca cards for a Bob Rondo uh, bobblehead, which he was very happy to make a trade with me. So we, were, we both came out ahead on that one. So I got a... Uh, couple autos I picked up on eBay. These are from the, uh, and I know I've talked about them before. I absolutely love these products, but this is a 2004 Topps retired signature. This is uh, Bobby Richardson, a former Yankee uh, second baseman. Uh, he was a part of, I want to say three World Series championships, an actual uh, World Series MVP. Uh, Bobby Richardson was a five-time gold glover and uh, I want to say he was like an eight-time all-star but uh, that's a great great auto and of Mr. Richardson I love the product got that for I think less than five bucks I got all four of these for le less than twenty dollars ship total so I can't remember but I didn't pay any more than five dollars for any of these autographs uh, the 1971 Cy Young an MVP for the American League Oakland A's who was a six-time All-Star and three-time World Series winner, Vita Blue. So a nice one there, uh, Vita Blue, and an MVP auto and a Cy Young to the uh, collection. Uh, very underrated player right here, in my opinion, Daryl Evans. He had over 2,200 hits in his career. Uh, I, I know he was on the 84 Tigers. I'm trying to think if he had any other World Series championships, but... Uh, 84 Tigers, uh, he hit over 400 home runs, over 1,300 RBIs. Uh, he, I read a stat on him that he had uh, t 10 seasons of 20 or more home runs. That's just incredible if you think about it, especially back in the day. So uh, he uh, he was only a two-time All-Star, but uh, he was actually a, a little tidbit piece of history with him is uh, when Hank Aaron broke uh, the home run record, Babe Ruth's home run record at the time, uh, for home run number 715, Darrell Evans was on base. So he drove Darrell Evans home. So nice little piece of history there. And this guy gets a terrible, terrible rap. But he was a hell of a ball player. A great hitter. Uh, over 2,700 base hits. Uh, like 1,200 RBIs. I know he was only a one-time All-Star, but he was the 1980 National League batting champion with the Chicago Cubs. And uh, I know he's remembered for the worst 
thing ever anybody could remember be remembered for so and it, it's sad because he was a, a great ball player so he gets that um wherever he goes the the mookie ball the ball between the legs in the 86 world series against the mets he was playing first base uh and i read something else on bill buckner where he was a heck of a base runner before all he he had like 20 ankle surgeries or something and still had a like a 22 year career but uh he was a heck of a base runner in his early days and over 30 stolen bases and and stuff like that so uh, Bill, I, my, I tip my cap to you because you you were an amazing player. Uh, just have a bad rap because of one play, and it's it's sad. But uh, you were an amazing ball player and a piece of history with this one too. So I, I really was happy to add these. I got all four of them for like I said, less than twenty bucks shipped. <laughs> I love the uncirculated product that when they're in the magnetic the one touches have the hologram sticker from tops I, I just I love those so uh, I will be looking for more I always do I, I love especially the 2004 with the black border and then it's got the same image but in fo foil with their number I just love it I love the product and it's definitely an underrated product, and I think these are four underrated players. None of them are Hall of Famers, but uh, they're in the Hall of Very Good. And uh, so I was very, very glad to add all four of these autos to my collection. So um, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate all the... Uh, all the feedback you guys give me on my channel. I know I'm getting close to 100 subscribers. I never once thought it would ever happen. But if and, if and when it does, I will do a uh, contest giveaway. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I got to get to 100 first. So it'll probably be the slow rate I'm going. I'm at like 88 or 89. I don't know. But uh, my daughters make fun of me because they never thought I would do that either. And I, I honestly never did either that I would get uh, as many subscribers as I have. But uh, it's been fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy the interaction with you guys. And so thank you. I enjoy the care packages that I receive. I enjoy giving care packages. So uh, thank you. Uh, have a great weekend, you guys. And uh, Ground Chuck out.